Hi everybody, I'm Steve Pakin. There's a new book out. It's called Pakin and the Premiers, Personal Reflections on a Half Century of Ontario Leaders. It's on bookshelves nationwide as of the 28th of September. And joining us now here in our studio to tell us more about this book is the author, Steve Pakin, who's the host of The Agenda with Steve Pakin. Steve, it's good to have you here. It's a pleasure to be here. I uh, always wondered what it's like to sit on this side of the table. How does it feel to finally add the title author to your list of credits? Uh, well, this is actually my fifth book, so I guess technically I'm already a published author, but it really was a labor of love. You mean to tell me you wrote this book for free? What happened there? Well, it's a bit of a long story, but suffice to say, a few years ago, somebody came up to me and said, you know, Pakin, you've interviewed every premier since Bill Davis, who got elected in 71, and you wrote a book about John Robarts, uh, who won his first election in 63, 50 years ago. So you have a direct connection to the last half century of Ontario premiers. And the guy said to me, there's got to be a book in there somewhere. And sure enough, that book is in your hands now. Wow, half a century, half a century. So that really kind of begs the question, you're old, aren't you? How old are you? Um, Seriously? Um, could we get back on track? I'd really love to talk about the premiers. Okay, well, your hostility to these questions suggests to me that you're not completely comfortable with high-definition television, which is fine. I'm sure your makeup artist might have something to say about that. But anyway, moving right along, uh, not a lot of people get a chance to sit down with uh, one premier, but you have met the last eight premiers of Ontario which means I presume you've got a lot of the inside scoop on these guys. So tell me something. Who was the absolute dumbest premier of Ontario you met? Um, Steve, really, uh, who wrote these questions? Who are the producers who wrote Producer? these questions? No, no, I, I don't deal with the producers. I write all the questions myself. I can tell you, every premier, in my experience with them, has been very professional. Mostly they get in because they want to improve their community. They want to improve the province. They want to make a contribution to the country. You know. Place to stand, place to grow, Ontario, area, area, that kind of thing. Politicians, they're just like us. Well, next question. Everybody knows that in order to play the part of the politician, you've got to look the part of a politician. So tell us, who were the best dressed and who were the worst dressed? Uh, you know, the reputation of this program, I thought, meant for a more serious discussion. Can the people we want to know, Pakin, and we care about ratings here. So fess up. Let's go. Steve, seriously, can we focus on the book a little bit more? It's always about you, Steve, isn't it? Well, okay, let's see. This book is its about 400 pages, and as I flip through it, not very many pictures, actually, and I notice that there's actually a lot of transcripts of your interviews with the premiers that you did for TVO, so can you really say that you wrote the book? Honestly, you know, this is the most ridiculous interview. I think I've had enough of this. Chad, forgive me, I'm taking this off. Whoa, whoa. I think this is ridiculous. Who does it? You know... People warned me about you. They said you were a jerk. I said, no, but you are. No wonder you wrote for seven at the Geminis. Goodbye. Touchy, touchy. Support Ontario's public television. Donate at tvo.org.